Hi, it's the 4th of July today, and, well, Renville County Planter here, forgot to tell you that. It's the 4th of July today, and since the North Dakota State Fair has been canceled due to the coronavirus pandemic, today we're going to make corn dogs and get our fill of grease. Uh, this recipe, my our nephew, my wife's brother's boy, asked that I would make this recipe because he likes it. And now we'll go over the ingredient list. Okay, we will fry the uh, corn dogs in corn oil, or excuse me, peanut oil. And I've got this stuff laid out double. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna double this recipe and I'll, I'll explain why in a minute. Um, so the ingredient list I'll read off just as a uh, single batch. And what we have here is one cup of cornmeal. We have one cup of all-purpose flour. Two teaspoons of kosher salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of baking soda, a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and two tablespoons of, uh, uh, this is a jalapeno that's been seeded and chopped. It's one jalapeno, it's approximately two tablespoons worth. This is why I'm doubling the recipe because some people in my wife's family, namely my wife, is a whiner and a complainer. She does not like jalapenos in her corn dogs. So one batch will be without and one batch will be with. And right here is an eight and a half ounce. Uh, I couldn't find an eight and a half ounce can of creamed corn, so I just weighed eight and a half ounces. And we have one cup of low fat, low fat buttermilk. And that is one third cup of an onion that we ran through the box grater there. And we've got our hot dogs right here. I'm using Sheboygan Sausage Company, all beef stadium dog. And for the love of God, do not use ballpark franks. Yuck. And for a little bit later, we'll get into this later, we got some cornstarch and a paper plate. And instead of dipping your apples in caramel, you can get, use these sticks to make your corn dogs. And of course, we have a nine quart de la crusade that we're going to fry them in. Okay, we have our wet team and our dry team together, or all mixed up and ready to go. Now you can get this mixed up hours, minutes, days ahead of time. Well, maybe not days ahead of time. But as long as they're separate, the wet team and the dry team, you're fine. Once you combine them, you're committed to putting these together. So you can tell in my wet team, this is the one with the jalapenos in it. This is the one without. This batch is for the wimps. This batch is for those who like good quality corn dogs. Okay, now we're going to cook. We're going to bring our corn dogs together. We will start with the bland batch. And uh, right here, we will pour the dry into the wet. And then, when you bring this together, you just want to bring it together, almost the muffin method. You don't want to stir the crap out of it. There will be lumps in there. And then, once you stir this together, uh, leave it sit for 10 minutes. And that will allow the flour and the, some of the cornmeal to soak up some of the some of the liquid. There's still quite a bit of liquid there. Okay, we're going to stop right there. Okay. Now that will sit for 10 minutes. So over here, we got our fry station set up. We got peanut oil in here. We're going to turn the burner on. I want the large side up on. Uh, medium high. Our target temp it will be uh, 375. We got the old spider here. Draining rig. Cooling rack flipped upside down with newspaper underneath it to wick away any extra grease when the corn dogs come out. Now over here what I'm doing I got the uh, the sticks. I'm uh, just feeding them into there. So I kind of got a station set up here. What I'm going to do 
is take some paper towel and then dry these off and then come to this one, fold this paper plate. In a previous episode I talked about paper plates being A1 first class multitaskers. These are wonderful for this. But you want to get, this is cornstarch that we're putting on here and you want to get it all over the hot dog and then tap off the excess and what that's going to do is help the batter stick to the uh, to the hot dog once we dip it. Okay, so we'll go through and uh, get the rest of these ready and then we are hopefully our thermometer will be up to temperature and then we'll start frying. Okay, okay the oil is heating. Right now we're at about 360 and I've got my first batch of batter. Now when I said earlier mix it together and leave it sit for 10 minutes as Alton Brown would tell you your patience will be rewarded. Now if you see I, I didn't fill a cup all the way up because we're going to dip the hot dogs into here but you see how wet looking that is now in this batch right here I just mixed this together it looks very very dry um, but as it sits and the moisture gets you know hydrates the flour that's the reason to wait at least 10 minutes and uh, so your patience will be rewarded okay. okay now the trick with this instead of plunging it pulling it up a lot of your batter will fall off take and slowly plunge it and then just slowly jiggle it as you come back up and then go right into your oil Gently, gently toss them in there. Oops. And we'll start with three. And those will take about four to five minutes. Looks like that one might have got stuck on the bottom. Okay. There we go. I think I was stuck on the bottom. Okay, keep it shut down. Yeah. Ready? Okay, those look golden brown and delicious. Just stay back. And take those off. And we will put three more in. Burgers. Same procedure here. Right. Um, right over there. And yeah, they are cut. Grab me too. Yeah. 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 Looks like they kind of want to stick on the bottom a little bit. Where do we want ketchup and mustard? How about by the hot dogs? Yeah, I'm going to put the rest of my stuff into here. Okay, gotcha. fry away. Okay, one thing. Each time you make these, you learn something new. And what I just figured out, I was having troubles with this stuff sticking to the bottom. And, uh, or once I dropped them into the hot oil, get uh, take and stick these into the oil, kind of rotate them a little bit, and then let go of it, and then it won't plunge to the bottom. I was having troubles with them sticking. And this seems to have cured the problem. Yeah. Okay. Hey, your whole family is waiting on food. Can you please serve them instead of making a video? <laughs> it's coming, Jarn. Okay. So that's the trick I learned today. Ready? Now, we got all of our... Oh, film over here. These are with the jalapenos. You can see the little green specks in there. If you look real close, sometimes you can see a little bit of the corn. These are without the jalapenos. Um, the kids have been devouring them. 
Now, we got a whole bunch of batter left. And what better than to make hush puppies? Just take some of that batter, oops, careful, and just pour that into your oil and fry it. Let that cook for a while. It's my heat gun. And we'll just take and stir them around a little bit. I wonder if they aren't stuck on the bottom a little bit. There we go. Some of them are stuck on the bottom. Okay. Come on, All right. I like my dog with mustard and ketchup. You can put on there whatever you want. Again, the North Dakota State Fair has been canceled, and I need to get my inner grease out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. But most importantly, don't be afraid to try this stuff at home. Thanks.